Um, yeah, and so another thing, actually, I will say is just from a, um, a psychological point of view, don't be put off by the earnings because I know that kind of as a creator, the your emotions can often be tied into to your earnings. Uh, the reason I know that is because I have creators telling me this all the time. They start to think maybe they're not good enough or whatever it is. Your earnings is purely down to your marketing. It's all down to your traffic like that. I can I can promise you that it's not it's really nothing to do with looks. Um, it's literally about your marketing. If you're not earning enough, I've got a dog somewhere. If you're not earning as much as you would like to, it means that you need to step up your marketing. It's nothing to do with like your personal looks and so on. And that is where you should be, be putting your, your main focus. Next up, kind of interesting subject actually. Um, not that I want to tell anyone what to do with their money that, that they earn. Um, but when you do start putting this together successfully, um, you will see significant increases in, in your lifestyle, uh, assuming that you're earning like an average income at the moment and you start having an OnlyFans making 30 to 50k per month. Um, this is this is just some advice that I have from working from creators over the years. Don't go spending all of the money. I think a good target to have is once you surpass like $10,000 per month, uh, you should put a kind of restrictor on yourself of that you save 20, uh, sorry, you save 80% of everything that you earn and you spend the, the rest, you spend the other 20%. So you can buy literally whatever you want, whether it's designer clothes, you want to go on holiday to the Maldives, you want um, whatever, you want to go shopping in London, like whatever it is, spend that 20% and don't feel any guilt about it is like the best way that I've found to do it. Um, and with that other 80%, you should be looking at doing investments. Most people don't want to be doing OnlyFans forever. There are a few people in the MILF and GILF um, niches. Uh, they're, they're pretty specialist. Um, but most girls would like to come into OnlyFans and do it for a couple of years, get the money, and then go and move on to uh, to like the kind of the next day, stage of their life. And if you do want to do that, my recommendation for you on how to manage the money is invest most of it. And you can invest in whatever you want. Acquiring property is quite a good one. Um, I do think a lot of property has been acquired in Dubai purely through earnings of, of OnlyFans um, and escorting as well out there. Um, you can also, I see a lot of models who are acquiring businesses, um, purchasing, for example, beauty studios, nail salons. That does happen quite a lot in, in the UK. Um, but invest that money into kind of anything, any kind of cash flow producing asset is going to be a good one. Uh, I think rental properties is like a pretty safe one. The main point is don't earn all this money. Don't go earning 50K per month and have 50K come in and 50K going out because it's very easy for your life, um, like the, the quality of your life to catch up with um, the amount of money that you're earning. Um, is, is kind of how life is like you can always find something that, that you want and I'm, I'm saying this in a four million euro villa but um like the point is is when you start going and stepping up those kind of levels of um of earning income which will happen if you're successful at this just be very disciplined in managing the money otherwise you will kind of find that you've earned a ton of money but you've also spent a ton of money at the end of the year and instead we have the, the old saying that, you know, the rich get richer. And the reason is because it's easier to make money when you have money. Money can be working for you in a lot of different ways. And when you are when you have this easy money coming in, put it to start working for you. Maybe I'll make another. It's, it's, it's quite a detailed subject to go into. Um, but yeah, just don't go wasting all the money. Spend money, have fun with it. You're working very hard. Like you need to, you know, enjoy your life. And I definitely make sure that I do too. Um, but just don't go wasting all of it save be set a limit for yourself I've, I've given you my one i invest 80 percent of what i earn and i spend 20 percent of it on whatever extravagant things i want and i feel zero regrets about it because i know that i've already invested my my 80 percent